Welcome to the free PBX Quick Start Guide presented by Vox Telesis. Today we'll be discussing how to choose the right hardware for your free PBX server. The simplest way to set up free PBX is to buy a server appliance from the free PBX website. The hardware is pre-built and all you'll be required to do is connect it to the network and configure the PBX. If you're thinking about buying hardware or installing free PBX on existing hardware, we can offer you a few guidelines on how to choose the best hardware. Free PBX can run on almost any x64 based hardware. That being said, there are no simple rules for the best hardware to use for free PBX. Finding the right hardware is a balance between not having enough computing power to handle basic tasks and having an overpowered system that is underutilized. We'll start off with the CPU. You'll be hard pressed to find a straight answer on what the right CPU is for your system. There are two main issues that complicate this matter. The first issue is that it is almost impossible to determine the actual performance of a CPU based on its model number. Clock speed, cache size, and number of cores can dramatically affect the speed and efficiency of a CPU. You can figure out the exact performance of your CPU by comparing CPU testing benchmarks. A great website to compare CPU benchmarks is PassmarkCPUBenchmark.net. Passmark CPU ratings can help you determine what the best CPU is for your system. The second issue is that there are many factors that can determine how hard your PBX will push the CPU. Call volume plays a major part in choosing the right CPU. The CPU workload goes up proportionally for each simultaneous call. Codecs are also a major contributor to high CPU usage. Using a high CPU usage codec for your calls could triple or quadruple the CPU load per call. We will discuss codecs in an upcoming video. If you are planning on a smaller PBX setup of less than 50 simultaneous calls, a late model CPU with a Passmark CPU arc rating of over 4000 will comfortably handle your call volume. If you anticipate having less than 25 simultaneous calls, an embedded CPU micro ATX motherboard might be a great place to start. Embedded solutions are cheap, energy efficient, and generate very little heat. If you anticipate larger call volumes, it might be a better idea to buy a pre-built server from a reputable manufacturer. If you plan on having more than 150 simultaneous calls or more than 1,000 users, it might be prudent to use more than one free PBX server and connect them via a trunk. We will discuss trunking multiple free PBX systems in upcoming videos. Having enough memory is essential to the stable operation of your free PBX system. A smaller free PBX system can run with as little as two gigabytes of memory. Though given the price and availability of memory, we recommend using four or eight gigabytes to avoid crashes due to insufficient memory. For larger systems, 16 to 32 gigabytes may be required. The hard drive stores the free PBX operating system, call database, voicemails, and call recordings. Though free PBX can operate on 32 gigabytes of hard drive space, it is recommended that you use a hard drive of 128 gigabytes or larger to accommodate your future storage needs. More hard drive space may be required if you plan to store call recordings or large amounts of voicemail. A good way to determine disk usage for call recordings and voicemail is to estimate one megabyte of disk usage per one minute of recorded audio. For example, 100 10 minute call recordings would require 1000 megabytes or one gigabyte of available hard drive space. If you plan to have large amounts of recordings, it would be prudent to store the audio files on a hard drive separate from your operating system disk. Overfilling the operating system disk can cause the free PBX server to crash. In upcoming videos, we will discuss how to map voicemail and call recordings to a second hard drive or network attached storage server. If you have a server running virtual machine software, it might be a good idea to install free PBX inside a properly provisioned VM. If you find that your VM's hardware doesn't fit your needs, you can easily resize the VM. One drawback to using virtual machines is that it might be impossible to install analog telephony cards if your virtual machine software does not support hardware pass-through. Finding the right hardware to accommodate your business needs can be difficult. We certainly hope that this video has helped you choose the best hardware for your free PBX system. If you have any further questions, please check out support.voxtelesis.com.